Mackenzie Shaysier, my partner, my rock, my best friend. I need to start by saying thank you. Thank you for caring for me and loving me. Thank you for choosing to do long distance with me and making the hard decisions we did to honor Christ. For encouraging me when I am down and always picking me back up. For being steadfast in your walk with God and your dedication to this relationship. Thank you for spurring me on towards love and good deeds. I am blown away by the person you are, and I cannot believe today you will be Mackenzie Shea Osborne. Thank you for choosing me. If there is one thing I've realized over the last two and a half years, it's that I can do anything with you by my side. I have found what true love really means and what it looks like. We have made it through a lot, and every step of the way, we have come out stronger, more resilient, and closer to each other and ultimately God. We have leaned on Him and watched as He has directed our lives like a water course. I cannot wait for our future watching His plan unfold in our life. I pray that we lean into Him and I ask for your help and guidance in our household to be the strong woman of God that I know you are. Mackenzie, I vow to love you just as Christ loved the church and give my life up for you. I vow to build a marriage centered in Christ because His word says a cord of three strands is not easily broken. I vow to honor and obey you. I vow to guard my heart and my mind to remain pure for you and only you. I vow to cherish you and always remind myself of the blessing you are. I vow to pick you up when you are down and be a shoulder to cry on, but also the first to put a smile back on your face. I vow to be spontaneous and adventurous and continue to date you even when we're gray and old. I vow to remind you just how beautiful you are even when you don't see it. I vow to be your best friend, your safe space, your partner in crime, your hunting buddy, your fake patient for school, your co-parent, and your support, and your biggest cheerleader. What I mean is, I vow to be there for it all. Mackenzie, I am yours from the first day I met you until the last breath I breathe. I am yours. I, Kenzie, take you, Blake, to be my husband. On this day, I will meet you at the altar, and without a doubt in my heart, soul, or mind, I do will leave my lips, solidifying a commitment to faithfully loving you eternally. You have undoubtedly shown me what it means to be loved fully, without reserve, hesitation, or an ounce of judgment. With you, I am fully myself, full of flaws, imperfections, and mistakes, that you cherish, adore, and delight me each and every day. From the very beginning, we have promised to fight for a relationship, to make it work no matter what. It is this dedication and faithfulness to one another, having already weathered so much, that makes today so exciting and marrying you so easy. Like in the very best way, I never saw you coming. You are the one I least expected, yet the one God knew I needed most. Once again, his plans far exceeded my own, and for the gift of you, I am forever grateful. Your kindness is so true and pure. You are steadfast in all that you are, and your integrity inspires me. You are the friend everyone prays to find, genuine and loyal through and through. Your deep belly laugh is contagious, and your smile melts me. You are beyond intelligent, and I love to watch your wheels spin as you conjure up a new business plan. You respect me, protect me, and go out of your way to selflessly serve me. You are a gentleman, a provider, and a strong spiritual leader. You are the man of God that I always dreamt of and I love above all else, that at the center of all that you are is Jesus. I love you and choose you because I know that to you forever is more than a word. It is a commitment to adventure and obstacles, highs and lows, good times and hard times, laughter and sorrow. I love you and I choose you because through it all, I know you will always point me back to Jesus. You, you will guard and protect my heart. You will lead me as you have been called to do, and love me as Christ loves the church. Above all else, it is your commitment to first God and then me that has caused me to fall so deeply in love with you. And you, my handsome husband, deserve nothing but the most fulfilling love. Therefore, from this day forward, I promise to cherish you, support your endeavors and dreams, to push you, and to always have your back. I promise to be your best friend, biggest fan, and loudest cheerleader. I promise to pray for you before I rise each morning and before I close my eyes each night. I promise to grow in the grace and love of Christ that I may fulfill the beautiful responsibility God has given to me as your wife. I promise to be slow to anger and quick to grace and to love you with truth and action. I promise to respect you, pursue you, and serve you. 
Blake, from this day forward until my very last breath and every single day in between, I promise to love you faithfully and eternally.